How I Spent My Summer Vacation by Jason Emery. My grandpa always tells me that the best part about life is the journey along the way. I never knew what he meant until this summer. My sister Holly and I are always bugging our parents to let us stay at Grandma and Grandpa's cabin by the lake. It's a really cool place. We go fishing and swimming and hiking. There's tons of stuff to do. Well, this year, Mom and Dad finally said yes, and this summer was the best ever. I even had fun with Holly. Grandpa was right. We had an incredible journey. In fact, you won't believe what happened until you see it for yourself. Be back in 10 minutes. Hey, you two, we got fish to catch. Hey! Come on, Jason. <laughs> Hurry up, Jason. You can't catch me. <laughs> get here. There's some great stuff in here. Come on! Mm, I'm gonna go get Grandpa. Oh, Jason, don't be chicken. Oh, look at this stuff. Mm, I don't know. Jason, Grandma and Grandpa have had their cabin up here for like a million years, right? Well, right. So I think that Grandpa knows all about this old boat, and he tells us to stay away if it's dangerous, right? Oh, yeah. So come on. does, do you? Yes, I do. It helps you to help you know where you are and where you're going. See, the needle of a compass always points north. So if you're ever lost, you need to go, you can 
find your way back. Jason, did you hear what I... Whoa. It, it's like a secret message. I think it's a riddle. By lake or by sea, look before you leap, because you know not what lurks beneath the cold, dark, and deep. this is. You read it. It's okay. I think it's a clue on how to get out of here. If you hold tight to the compass and do not roam, we promise you'll be safe and find your way home. See, as long as you don't lose the compass, we're going to get It's changing again. Watch and see what you can learn. Your safety while swimming is our main concern. Follow the arrows of your compass in hand and discover the rules where water meets sand. Follow the arrow. The arrow. Jason, dude, Holly, dudette, I'm Topher. Well, how do you know our names? I've been looking for you. I'm here to help you get home. Where, where'd you come from? Well, the water. Where else? Uh, are you always here? Nah, mostly. But I come and go. And if you want to go, home, that is, you'll follow that compass. How do you know about the compass? Oh, I used to have one a long time ago. So, did you figure out what the rules of where water meets sand are? What kind of rules are you talking about? Swimming rules, like how to be safe when you're swimming. We know how to swim. Well, that's one. One what? One of the rules. In fact, the first rule of good swimming is know how to swim. Everybody knows how to swim. Oh, contraire, my little buddy. You'd be surprised how many people don't know, and that's bogus, because the best way to be safe in the water is to know how to swim. But how will knowing how to swim help us to get home? Just let the water tell you. Like the compass says, watch and learn. Cool. So, is that safe swimming? It'd be more fun if you had someone to swim with. Yeah, and safer too. Right. You should never swim alone. You need to swim with a buddy. And make sure there's an adult around and that they're paying attention. Now, what if one of those kids had a problem swimming? Would that air mattress help save him? No problem. Wrong. What if the air mattress springs leak? It won't help at all. They need life jackets. Right. It's best to always wear one. I mean, why do you think they call it a life jacket? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. Go ahead. Jump. Come on. Jump. How dumb is that? Dumb as Jason. <laughs> that dude's gonna jump off that cliff. He doesn't even know how deep the water is down there. Is that deep? Who knows? shallow than most rocky areas are, well, this jump might be his last. 
bad news. He should just swim in places made for swimming. Right, and this isn't one of them. Maybe that cliff jumper listened to you, huh? <laughs> that was close. <laughs> Glad he didn't listen to that other kid. It's not easy to be your own person and do the right thing when somebody's trying to talk you into something you know you shouldn't do. I hope we learned this lesson. Well, I'm sure he did. But what about you? Me? Yeah. Did you learn the rules of where water meets sand? Well, first learn how to swim, swim in safe areas, and don't go swimming alone. Okay, always wear your life jacket, and don't go in if the water's too cold. Excellent. So, how do we know if we know the rules? Oh, trust me, you'll know. Now use what you've learned and you'll be home in no time. Wait, where are you going? Follow the compass and swim together. Aren't you coming with us? No, I lost my compass a long time ago. Your compass only works for you. I missed my chance to get home, so I'm stuck here until I find my compass or until one of you dudes makes it home. So if we lose the compass, we'll be stuck here? Afraid so. Holly, if we lose the compass, we might never get home, man. Listen, dude, don't be scared. Be strong. And remember, if you learn the rules of water safety and you listen to that compass, you'll always make it home. And don't forget, if you get home, I get home. Safe passage, little dudes. This is the journey of Holly and Jason. One day, while exploring the forest near their grandparents' lake cabin, they came across a mysterious old boat where they found a magic compass. Although they were stuck in the middle of a lake, they met Topher, a helpful guide who was also strong. It's okay. Topher taught them the important rules of safe swimming. And don't forget, if you get home, I get home. Safe passage, little dudes.
think you should wake it. Person, get any privacy around here? I'm really sorry. She's really sorry. She didn't hear Quiet! Tover must have had his hands full with you two. You know Tover? Are you stranded here too? Yes, I know Tover. And yes, I'm stranded. But just for the moment, Holly, it won't be for long. Well? No, I won't, Jason. Because old Wanda's gonna get you home. When you get home, I get home. Now let me see that compass of yours. Say, this is a beauty. I've got a good feeling about this one. What do we have to learn first? You catch on quick. For a boy. Look it off, Holly. All right now, who knows where we are? We're at a dam. I know all about dams. You do? Yeah, they do lots of things like generate power, control floods, store water. I know all about them. Well then, do you think this is a safe place for kids? Do you know the name for the area at the top of the dam? What about at the bottom of the dam? Well, I don't really know. I don't think it's a very safe place for kids. I was talking to Jason. So was I, Holly. All right, enough. Do you two always argue like this? Yeah. Yeah. I can't believe you got this far. If you don't work together, you won't get a safe passage home. Then you'll be stuck here with me. Why'd right, you like that? No! No, no offense. Okay. Then you have to get along, agreed? Okay. Now let's get on with it. Holly, you're right. This is a dam. And Jason, you're right. All dams are dangerous places to hang around. And there are a lot of different kinds of dams. Some dams are made from earth. Some from concrete. Some are tall. Some are long. There are even dams that are small. So small that you can't really see them. The important thing to remember is that they all have hidden dangers, and it's your job to be aware of the dangers and to be careful when you're near a dam. What kind of dangers are you talking about? The area above the dam is one of the most dangerous. You see, a dam blocks a river, and the water builds up behind the dam, making a lake. But water is let through some parts of the dam to help turn some very big wheels called turbines. When the turbines move, they make electricity. The place where the water flows into the dam, called the intake, is very dangerous. You don't want to get near the intakes, either swimming or in a boat. That's why there are restricted signs behind the dam. Restricted means keep out. You wouldn't believe the amount of suction around the intake. If you were to fall into the intake, it would suck you in and you'd die. It would suck the life right out of you. Ew, sick. Suck the life out of you? I'm afraid so. Most of the time, the dangerous area is marked with ropes or buoys and lots of signs. Now, the area below the dam is just as dangerous as the intakes. This is where the water returns to the river after passing through or over the dam. See that water down there? See how it's churning and bubbling? If you fell in there, that water would swirl all around you and suck you under, probably all the way downstream, maybe as far as the ocean. Now, some dams have huge doors on them to let water come through if the lake gets too full. And if you were below the dam when the gates open, all that water would swirl all around you and... Suck the life out of you? Yep. So, do what the signs tell you, right? Don't go anywhere near a dam unless you're, like, visiting on a tour or something. Now, there's still dangerous water around, so that means you have to steer clear. Uh, so, do you know the rules where water meets land? Yeah. Stay clear of the areas above and below a dam, and when you see warning signs, do what they say. Don't get near the intakes and they'll suck the life out of you. Look out for bubbling waters and places where the current can be strong, like rivers and canals. They could suck the life out of you, too. <laughs> oh, my God!
least it wasn't the compass. When we last left Holly and Jason, they were up to their necks in trouble. Oh, but I'm getting a little ahead of myself. After learning the rules of safe swimming, Holly and Jason were transported to a gigantic hydroelectric dam. There they met Wanda, ah! who taught them to be careful around a dam. At least it wasn't the compass. I'm stuck. You're stuck? I can't even move my arms. Holly, somebody's coming. Help! Help! Hold oh, on! No. I'm coming! Help. Just hold Help. on! Oh. Nothing is ever easy. I've been looking all over for you two. Oh, I sure don't make a magic compass the way they used to. Who are you? Name's Scully. Can you get us out of here, please? Yeah. Oh, I'll have to if I want to go home. Now, which one of you has the compass? He does. You do have the compass, don't you? Oh, I think so. Actually, I'm not sure. Well, I could try to reach it. Uh, no, no, no. Don't move a muscle. Stay very still. I'll get you out of there. <laughs> Oh, the compass! How'd you get us out of here so fast? Jeez. Let's just say I really want to go home. <laughs> now, what do we have here? Boats are not toys you'll find when you fish the sea. If you want to make it home, wear your PFD. If you follow your compass, you'll have a safe time. But the only way home is through your fishing line. Fishing line? What's a PFD? Yeah. Personal flotation device. You know, a life jacket. Oh. You guys had a safe passage so far. Looks like our work is cut out for us the rest of the day. Come on, let's go fishing. What kind of boat do you want to use? What do you mean? You know, to go fishing in. How about... Whoa, whoa. Uh, that's a speedboat. That's not a fishing boat. How about this one? That's a sailboat, though. How about this one? That's a canoe. It, it'd tip over too easy. This one? That's a paddle boat. Too hard to fish in that. Well, you're right. Each boat is different. Each one has its own special purpose. And you gotta make sure you use it the way it's supposed to be used. Whoa, that's cool. I want one of those. <laughs> Jason, it's not a toy. Besides, you're too young to drive. Well, so are you, Holly. It's not like you could drive one. It's a boat, all right. Just don't act like one. It's called a personal watercraft. It's a lot of fun, but it's also dangerous. A lot of people have been injured even killed because they didn't know the right way to handle a personal watercraft, PWC. Whoa, now that's a fishing boat. <laughs> Whoa. 
Even though they seem like fun, they can be dangerous. That's why I made you wear your life jacket before you got into the boat. So always make sure that an adult, like myself, is driving the boat. And if that adult has been drinking alcohol, you just don't go with it. You don't want any part of that. Is that all the rules? Seems like I'm missing one. Let's see. Jason, here's your fishing pole. Ah, I remember. <sighs> Never ever. Oh, spill it! Spill it! Oh, no. Come on. Stand up in a boat. Stranded here forever. Now don't you two start in on each other. We're not finished yet. Sorry, Jason. It's okay. I shouldn't have stood up. There still may be a way to get you two home yet. How? Remember the riddle. The riddle! Boats are not toys you'll find when you fish the sea. If you want to make it home, Wear your PFD. Well, we're doing that right. Follow your compass and you'll have a safe time. But the only way home is through your fishing line. Quick fishing Jason, line. Jason, put your line in. Come on, Jason's water safety adventure. After finding a magic compass in a mysterious old boat, Polly and Jason were transported to a new world where they learned the rules of safe swimming, how to be safe around dams and rivers, and the smart way to boat and fish. They also met some pretty interesting characters who helped them along the way. Let's just say I really want to go home. Because all Wanda is going to get you home. When you get home, I get home. And don't forget, if you get home, I get home. Safe passage, little dudes. 
They even survive some pretty close calls. Who knows what they'll reel in next? You guys had your life jacket on. Those PWCs are fast. PWC? You must be learning about water safety if you know what a personal watercraft is. Now, who's got the compass? I got it. Reach, throw, row, don't go. These are four things you ought to know. You'll find your way home quicker, it's true. If you rescue someone, from the deep, dark, and blue. Have to rescue somebody? We're gonna be here forever. Hey, now, what did Topher and Wanda and Scully teach you guys? Well, the whole line of the compass. Learn the rules of water safety. Well, you've still got the compass, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, what's the first thing you do when someone falls overboard? You should jump in. You might think so, but jumping in is only as a last resort, and if you're trained to do so. Well, you have to do something. You can't just leave the person out yeah. there. That's right, Holly. But if you know these four things, you'll remember what to do in a rescue. Reach, throw, row, don't go. Reach, throw, row, don't go. Here, look. See those people in that boat? They don't know it, but they have everything they need to save him from drowning. So what should they do? Reach first, right? That's right, Jason. They need to find an object in the boat to pull them in, like a fishing pole or a noodle or even a boat oar. Uh, then throw. So do they throw the fishing pole? No. Only <laughs> throw things in the water they can float on, like an inner tube, a floatable seat cushion, or even a picnic cooler. So reach, throw, row? That's right. Try and row up as near as the person as you can, or ask a boat who may be nearby to help. But leave the engine off, because the person you're trying to save may be caught up in the engine. Then don't go. Don't go where? Don't jump in the water to save someone who's drowning unless you're trained to do so. They might get panicky and try and pull you under. And if you do go in and try and pull someone, make sure you're wearing a life jacket. Well, if you're in a boat, you should already be wearing a life jacket. Yeah, <laughs> we know all about that now. That's right. And remember, if you see someone in trouble, get an adult to help or call 911 and don't ever pretend you're drowning. It's not funny, and you could cause someone else to drown. Then reach, throw, row, and... Don't, don't go. go. See, it's easy. And you never know when you may have to save the world.
to earlier. You really were great. So were you, Holly. We got home together. Home? Grandma and Grandpa! Oh, go, go, quick, come on! saw me ten minutes ago. Where in the world did you get those life jackets? Uh... Oh, I almost forgot. We've got a surprise for you. Holly, Jason, we'd like you to meet some of our neighbors. This is Tommy, Wendy, Sarah, and Scotty. Have we ever met before? Uh, I, I don't think so. Holly, Jason, why don't you take them down, show them where you've been playing? No! no! I mean, maybe later. Maybe we can just go swimming. Sure, as long as we have an adult nearby. Yeah, and we'll all go swimming together in a designated area. Hi, Wendy, time for dinner. Yeah, okay, we'll see you guys later. Safe passage. Bye-bye. I think it's time to catch fish. Are you with me? Yeah, let's go. Now, don't be gone too long. We're going to be eating soon. OK. Grandpa, where's your PFD? PFD? Personal flotation device. A life jacket, Grandpa. Oh, we've got plenty of life jackets in the boat. So how do you think the fish are going to be biting today? Oh, it's just going to be great. Um, we should come to your cabin more often. Look at this. Sure looks old. What's in there? 